So, what's good with y'all? Everybody good? Hope so. So, let me talk about the Backyard Comedy Show. We do a Teddy Carpenter's Backyard Comedy Show. Um, it's off the chain. A lot of people heard about it. They know what's going on. They're hearing about it. You know, I get, can't tell you how much. Oh, man, we want to come. Oh, man, we coming. We come. I hear you. I, I don't really pay a lot of that no attention until I actually see you there. But let me tell you how it came about because it's a whole bunch of swirling things going around how it actually came about. So I'm here to tell you. And I'll tell you about, you know, what we do there the whole nine. So um, first of all, we did a backyard comedy show years ago at my house, like 10, could have been 10, 12 years ago. Wow. In fact, we did two. And we did a... Um, uh, um, a pajama party, like a pajama party. We did a pajama party comedy show, and and at the time my house was big, and we had, you know, everybody had their pajamas on, and the living room, you know, living room area and kitchen area, you could do, you can get about 30, 30, 35 people in there easy. So we did this a long time ago, but we never did it in the context of this is what we're gonna do. Um, it was just something to do, you know, had a little bit of money. We doing something different. It is what it is. Um, years later, a friend of mine, and I won't say his name, I won't, I won't, uh, say his name, but you know, comic, he called me up. Hey, yo man, I've been doing this and you missed it last year. If I can remember straight what he said, you missed it last year. So you should come on through, blah, blah, blah. He had been asking me to come through. Um, you know. And this time around, I said, all right, you know, I'll come through whatever case may be. So he was doing a backyard comedy show. And I, 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 I don't remember if that's what he called it, but it might have been uh, whatever. Now, here's the little crutch that I have. You know, you're doing it and you're recording people and you put it up as your content and whatever. That, that's a different story. I didn't know about that part. But nevertheless, I came and when I got there, he ain't had no food. <laughs> he ain't had no fucking food, man. It, 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 I said, wait a minute, this is a back, this is a comedy cookout, or I mean, what exactly is it? He didn't have no food. Now maybe he had food, but he didn't have none when I got there. And my thing is, damn, you're gonna invite me to come, but you you're not gonna feed me? Like at least feed me. God damn, if I'm doing it free, using the content, at least feed me. I think that's fair. Anybody would think that's fair. And uh, I was a little perturbed. I ain't going to bullshit you. I was a little perturbed. So I got up there on stage. I did my thing 30 minutes. I think I was the last comic or whatever, 30 minutes or whatever time frame I did. And um, um, shit, me and another comic had to leave and go to a restaurant. And get something to eat. I can't make this shit up. Uh, me and and Lawrence Owens, he he will he will confirm it. We went to a restaurant and sat down and got something to eat. And uh, so a couple of weeks later, I was talking, telling a friend. He was like, "Oh, yo, remember that day and you know whatnot." And and um, and I was telling them what happened. Well, you know, I went to the joint and they had no food. Now, mind you, they, and going back to it, they 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 gave me this little pink hot dog. I never forget this. They gave me the little pink hot dog. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. I, I didn't know if it was vegan food. I don't know what it was, but it was something I ain't never seen before. I was like, nah, bro, I'm not eating that. Come on, man. So anyway, um, so I'm telling a friend what happened, and he was like, yo, why don't you go back and do what you used to do? So I was like, I, I never, I, I wasn't thinking about it at the time. So I said, you know what? You're right. I should do my version of the backyard comedy show. So now, if people want to say I got it from my man, okay, that's cool. I, I'm not tripping, you know. But I said I'm gonna do my version of how I think, you know, or what I would like if I was coming to a backyard comedy cookout. Um, so we put it, we put it together. We put, we put it together. And uh, uh, and I think you know we did it rev, 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 you know we did it rather nicely. Um, first time around we had hundred 
105 people. Second time around, we had 125. We try to cap it at 120. And the reason being, <coughs> excuse me, reason being is because, you know, we don't want just everybody back there. We want to know who everybody is. We just keep it small, keep it simple, um, keep it personable. Um, you know, everybody's not on top of each other because we don't do it to make money. We don't, we we never put this together to make money. Originally, it was put together for me to celebrate my 38th year in stand-up comedy. Yeah, exactly. But I don't really push that. I don't really push that. I never really push my birthday parties or I never really push anniversary shows or anything like that. So that that was the original idea. And um, so we wanted to do our version of backyard. And so <clears throat> you're not going to leave our joint hungry. You just not. We have uh, three chefs, plus we have people who cook our sides. And, you know, we're very particular about the food. The food is the star. Everything is the star. The DJ is the star. DJ Jeff, we got a nasty DJ. This dude is bad. Um, um, and we have a good time. We have adult fun. You want to get up on stage, you want to sing, dance, do anything, whatever the case may be, we, we let you. Um, we have young comics who come, they're elite, they're looking for their break, they're looking for their chance. Somebody just bought two tickets. I like that. Um, uh, so we have a nice time, but we cap it at one, one probably cap it this year at 130. And uh, so we sell out. We sell out every year. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. So it was a question about how we charge. And I, and I tell you how we charge. We, our prices are from 55 to um, $90. And it depends on what you eat. Now, let me just give you a picture now. Let me just, let me just set the picture for you. Our backyard comedy shows, the ones we've had so far, we don't charge for the drinks. We we don't charge for the drinks. We don't charge. We charge. We charge to get a large portion of our money back of what we spend. These things cost about five six thousand. So I'd be damned if I'm gonna have a uh, a celebration in my behalf and pay for all the food to let everybody eat five six thousand dollars. Nah, I'm not making money, but I'm not in the process of losing no money either. Those days are over. So we charge $55 for our base. And I don't even want to say base. Just our common food that you get when you go to a cookout. So we have ribs. We have shrimp. We have uh, fried fish. We have brisket. We have, uh, it's like three, four other meats on there that we have. You know what we don't have? We don't have hamburgers and hot dogs. We might have some hamburgers this time around, but we usually don't have hamburgers and hot dogs. We we usually serve a high end food, and um, based off of that, now mind you, you get free drinks, which I might change that. I might change that because they drank up everything last year, but I might change that. But as of right now, you get free drinks. So if you was to go to a comedy club, if you was to go to a a, a comedy club, and let's just say it's just you and your girl, or whatever. It's $25, $30, you know, whoever you see, or a concert. You go to who's ever concert, you paying $150 a ticket, so that's $300. But let's just let's say a comedy club. So you, you pay for the tickets. You get something to eat, wings and this, that, and the third, and such and such, and it's a two-drink minimum. And you get your two drinks, you get her two drinks, and then there's a uh, gratuity on top of that. And and whatever the case, when the smoke clear, you done dropped two hundred two fifty. You done dropped two fifty, and you might have not got the food the way you want. Now I'm not knocking comedy clubs. I'm just keeping it a hundred. You know this is how we. You know they make their money. So when we do our thing, you know you basically eat probably more than you paid for. Nine times out of ten, you know. Period. You don't get no ribs or no no jerk chicken and. And 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 all the sides you can eat, you know, because you can eat as much as you want. 
you know, we don't we don't stop you from eating. If you want some more ribs, you go get some more ribs. You, you want another drink, you go get some more another drink. We even have desserts that we hand out during the show. You know, have, you know, it, it might be uh, uh, bourbon uh, chocolate chip cookies. So when you eat them, you could taste the liquor in them and stuff like that. And what we have a variety of stuff that's not even on the list. That's not that's not even that's not even there. So, um, and then we have prime food. We have prime. Matter of fact, let me let me look. Hold on. We have prime food. Prime, prime. All right. So, let me look at the prime food. All right. So our prime menu will have um, tomahawk steak, tomahawk steak grill, grilled shrimp, and snow crabs, and two sides. Come on, bro. How much? Anybody know a tomahawk steak might might mess around, you know, by itself cost you eighty dollars. It might cost you eighty dollars by itself. Tomahawk steak, grilled shrimp, crab legs, and two sides, and drinks. How much you think that'll cost one person? That's every bit of one fifty. Every bit of one fifty. Uh, smoked oxtails, smoked oxtails, jerk chicken. Fried fish, two sides. Everything comes with sides. What would you think that'll run you? People don't even sell oxtails because they don't really make no money off oxtails. You know, they have to charge you so much for a plate of oxtail. And then the oxtails be the little small, you know, bunch of little small pieces to end pieces, you know, whatever the case would be. You know, the Jamaicans do that. They don't give you that the big old fat round piece, but different conversation. But anyway, how much you think that's worth to you? That's on our prime menu. Um, snow crab, snow crab legs, jerk, jerk chicken, and grilled shrimp. You know what the sides? That's that's also on the menu. Lamb chops, lamb chops, grilled shrimp, and snow crabs. That's another. That's on the menu. Seafood boil. We do a seafood boil. Well, you know, you get a seafood, you get everything in there, lamb, uh, clams, crab legs, the whole nine. Seafood boil. We have that. Usually about, I say about 15, 20 people order that. Um, beef ribs. I wanted some beef ribs. So beef ribs, jerk chicken, and uh, fish. What's that to you? What's that worth to you? And you get your drinks. Come on. Crab cakes, grilled shrimp, and fried fish, along with your two sides. So we have a prime menu, and, you know, we do it right. We have three chefs. We have three grills going at one time. We do this thing right, man. And the, and the, and the, the food is off the chain, um, and the atmosphere is just like second to none. Second to none. There's nobody sitting over top of nobody. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's clean, wholesome, fun. You know, my comics don't bother nobody. They, they're instructed to do a show. They go out there and they do a show. You know, they perform. You know, you know, so we don't even let people sit way back in the woods. No, you got to sit up front and be an adult. We let you drink. We let you eat. We sit back. Only thing you have to bring is a, is a lawn chair. That's it. Now, people will hit me and say, you know, well, what's this and where is that and what's the you gotta go to the website and click the link. Everything is in there. We all of our instructions of how we do it are in there. We tell people, don't bring, don't we we don't have no walk up market. None. No walk up market. Because we like to account for everybody who's moving and we like to know just about how much food we're gonna serve, how much alcohol, the whole nine yards. We don't do the take home six, seven plates to the whole family. We don't do none of that. You can eat as much as you want while you're there, and that's what we do. Um, very safe. We always have undercover police officers, but we don't have any problems. Um, the show is off the chain. The show itself, um, we, got a, we got a nasty DJ. The show, we do the Soul Train line. We party. We do little quizzes. We do, you know, we'll probably do a raffle this year. I don't know. Um, 
But we have a good time, man. We have a good time. Now, let me say this. A lot of y'all hitting me on the side. Hey, man, I'm going to try to do this, and I'm going to try to. Listen, I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all know me. I don't I, I do not do a lot of the fake and, and all that stuff. I ain't trying to hear that shit. You know, I ain't trying to hear that shit. I, I, I don't really care what you're trying to do. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying it in the context of I've been doing comedy 38 years. I got people that I grew up with that have been knowing me since the, since, since the sand dunes. You know, we, we, we grew up in the sand together. That ain't never came to a show. I got family members who ain't never even mentioned the show. See me, you know, they ain't never came to a show. So I don't base it. Long time ago, I stopped basing it off of friends. I base it off of who wants to come and have a nice time. Who wants to come and have a nice time? And that's who I go after. Period. So, you know, tell somebody else you might come. And now if you come, you know the funny part about it is when they do come, man, I should man, I just I should have brought this. Man, we had such a good time. And uh, what you want me to tell you? I've been telling you, y'all see it on my Facebook, y'all see it on the post, y'all see whatever. And, you know, you got 10, 12 other things that is more important. It is what it is. But it ain't no big deal to every time you see me, you tell me whose show you went to as far as a stand-up comedy. You know, we went to such and such show, and we went to his show, and we went to that show, and we, you know, it's a, the fuck I care. I ain't seen you in a month of, in years, and you want to tell me about every comic you saw? So, anyway, that's a different conversation. I got off the, you know, that was just some shit I need to get off my chest. But Teddy Carpenter's Backyard Comedy Show, the 22nd, July 22nd. This thing's going to be off the chain. Get your tickets now. Do not wait to get your tickets. Do not wait to get Everybody wants to wait until the last minute, and then when they call us and we tell them we sold out, they hurt. Oh, man, y- y'all can't let – no. No. We've been, the tickets been on a month, a whole month. And we gotta we gotta set our food, and we gotta buy the stuff, and we gotta because we don't just cook it, we prepare, we make sure everything is right, man. We we got nine people that want to cook the uh, macaroni and cheese, you know. We we got people that want to make the potato salad. We can't have just everybody make the potato salad. It just is what it is. So I wanted to just tell y'all how this thing came about. Hopefully, uh, we'll see y'all there. I usually reach out to a lot of personal people first and then I put it, you know, I put it in the atmosphere. I put it on IG. I put it, you know, um, folks that we don't know. But I go to the people that I know first and you should have seen it by now. If you're on my Facebook, you should have seen it by now. So anyway, I appreciate y'all supporting and uh, I'll be at the uh, Baltimore Comedy Factory July 7th through the 9th also. But that's their stuff. This is mine. So, which one do you think I want you to come to? All right. Deuces. I'll check y'all. All right.